Hello everyone, it is SCP-049 again, back playing Surgeon Simulator. As you can see, I've been practicing quite a lot and earned myself a certificate. Not in my name, but... Oh well, what can you do? Now today, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different with this VCR tape. Now, all I have to do is lift it up and put it in, put it in, four, nine, four, eight. Now this will become obvious as to why those numbers flashed up on the screen. Here we have a numerical pad. And if I enter four, nine, four, eight, this will happen. It appears to be a grey, a grey alien, something that you would see in Roswell or Area 51. That's a myth, by the way. It doesn't exist. Now, as with all rib surgeries, the bone saw, or well, the circular bone saw, I'm not really sure as to the exact terminology this technology really is. Uh, way beyond anything I could imagine. But this is the best to use for any rib surgery. Now, if I just get rid of that. I need to remove all bone from this carcass because otherwise it would make the surgery absolutely impossible. The left side seems to be giving me a little bit of trouble. Sorry of that. Oh. Oh my. Okay. So just leave this here. Anti-gravity can be handy sometimes. It's not always an annoyance. Now this thing seems to have no purpose whatsoever. So I'm just going to throw this away. Now, I think now I need a scalpel. Oh, it appears that worked. I didn't expect that to work. Now, I believe that the center organ of this gray is called the gobble shaft. It's not a very... I mean, Sores can be troublesome. Anyway, this is called a gobble shaft. Now, it's, it's not a very eloquent name. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not really sure what it does. But no matter, it's coming out anyway. Rather, rather peculiar noise that thing makes. Very strange. Right, now, I'm going to need to remove the six blue membranes on the left and on the right. I can just position my knife or scalpel in such a way, and that's done. Now the bottom and the top of the Burgesporlax organ, again, I'm not sure as to its purpose, but if I was to make an estimation, I would say, I would say it's probably the stomach or the digestive system. This is proving quite, you know, never mind, with enough force you can make anything happen. Okay. I'm not quite sure. I think the organ on the top right Sorry, I was just concentrating there. I think the organ in the top right is called the Gavachol. And it appears I just poisoned myself on one of their spikes. Very peculiar noise. So, if I could just make an incision on the left of the Gavachol. 
I'm not really sure this is essential to the replacement of the Burgess Bornex, but I've started now, I might as well finish. This is proving extremely difficult. I'm clearly, I'm clearly scraping my scalpel over it. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Okay, well, I may need to use something else. Over to the left here, yes. Scalpel. I may need to be quite heavy handed this time as going in delicately doesn't seem to be doing me any favours at all. Yes, that seems to have worked. Good. Okay, all I have to do is throw this scalpel away, take the gavatrol out, completely an unnecessary part of this. But it is extraterrestrial surgery, so there is always a learning curve. My fingers almost got stuck in that jar. If I... Oh, never mind, I was going to use the hammer, but it just fell out of my hands. Apologies. So break this. I should have thrown that away, but never mind. This is the fresh Burgess Borlax. Or Sporlex, I'm not sure. Put it in there. And there you have it. This is how you transplant a Burgess Borlax. I hope you have all enjoyed this. And until next time, I am the cure.